Pat Finucane was a high-profile Belfast lawyer, but he was a husband and a father too, and so it was that his family sat down one Sunday to a dinner they have never forgotten, for the simple reason that a loyalist gunman broke in and put 12 bullets into his head whilst his wife and children watched. And if that wasn't grotesque enough, it turns out that these men had the active encouragement and support of agents of the state. Most shocking of all, Sir Desmond says that on the balance of probabilities, an RUC officer or officers did propose Patrick Finucane as a UDA target when speaking to a loyalist paramilitary. So why was Mr Finucane targeted? Well, because he represented high-profile IRA men like Bobby Sands and others, and in the warp thinking of some at the time, that was apparently enough. But Mr Cameron said individual policemen and army officers might have been responsible, but ministers were not. Sir Desmond is satisfied that there was not, and I quote, an overarching state conspiracy to murder Patrick Finucane. But Mr Speaker, while he rejects any state conspiracy, he does find, quite frankly, shocking levels of state collusion. But was the Prime Minister embarrassed and ashamed? Yes, he said. I'm so proud of our country, our institutions, of the police, of our security service and what they do to keep us safe. And it is agony to read what happened uh, in this report, but it's right we publish it. It left him with only one conclusion. So on behalf of the government and the whole country, let me say again to the Finucane family, I am deeply sorry. The Finucans have long campaigned for a full public inquiry and they felt this one had not once again got to the truth. This report is a sham. This report is a whitewash. This report is a confidence trick dressed up as independent scrutiny and given invisible clothes of reliability. But most of all, most hurtful and insulting of all, this report is not the truth. If today's report was supposed to draw a line under this tragedy, it has singularly failed. Tom Bradby, ITV News, Westminster.